Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. I'm going to wing this video because I'm short on time this week. So hopefully everything goes right, but it probably won't. So we will see. Uh, this week's question is uh, about Lightroom. And as you see here, advanced Adobe Lightroom catalog management is the subject of this video. Uh, there was a question from Desmond uh, probably about a month back or something like that. That he, he wanted to know about this. So it took me a little while to get back around to it. Maybe it was even longer. I don't know. Anyway, here it is, here, and, and here we go. A lot of great information here. By the way, if you do head over to the website, as you can see, I have a lot of Adobe Lightroom videos. So you can either use the search box at the top left corner of the page, or you can scroll to the very top of the page and then go into the video playlist, and you can see all the video, all the Lightroom videos in there. So, back to Desmond's question. Greg, I saw your video a while ago working with catalogs and backups. Say, at least I'm still confused as hell. I have catalogs on my desktop somewhere, catalogs on my external drive. I'm lost. was wondering if you could make an up to updated YouTube video or a blog post on how to deal with this issue. Pictures and catalogs are spread across two different drives. Is there any way to pull anything to get, everything together? Yada, yada, yada. Yes, there is. And it's actually not that hard. But the main thing that I'm going to talk about today, um, besides your question, is everything is going to be best case scenario, okay? Best case scenario for all this is you have one operating system drive, then you have another separate drive for your Lightroom catalogs, and you have another drive, and obviously with backups of all this stuff, another drive for your actual photos. That's going to make everything run faster, run smoother, and allow you to get your job done quicker so that you can go back out and shoot more. So, um, best case scenario in everything I'm talking about today, hopefully you can work up to this point. And I understand not everybody has it, and so I will talk about other things, but for the most part, best case. Alright, so, here's where I have all of my catalogs stored, right here in this one drive, on my Lightroom drive, a hard drive right here. It's actually a RAID, which means that it's multiple drives linked together into a single drive that the operating system sees, and it will actually run faster than a single drive ever could. So, um, for the tech guys, this is a striped zero, as I remember, or a striped one. Uh, actually, you know what, I have to go back and look at it, but anyway, it's it makes a huge difference. Between, I actually did some tests on a single 10,000 RPM drive and then a couple of other ones when I actually built this system a couple different scenarios and this one has worked out the best for me with Lightroom mainly Lightroom so uh, I'll look that stat up and, and put it in the post anyway uh, here's where all my catalogs live and if you are if you don't have a separate drive for your Lightroom catalogs what I would like to see you do is go to your uh, libraries and documents or your my uh, documents folder and create that folder create that Lightroom database folder okay right in your documents or in your my documents put it there and you're done and you don't have to worry about it then start putting all of your catalogs inside of there or created I guess best case would be to create a new catalog inside of there okay so go to your documents my documents create a new folder called Lightroom DB or Lightroom database and then create a new catalog inside of there. You should already know how to do that, uh, but if not, you can just go to File and New Catalog and um, find that library's documents and that new folder that you just created. Then once you're inside of that new folder, give it a new name of a catalog that you haven't used before. So say your last name or, you know, um, you know, Greg's pictures, something like that, something, some kind of a catalog name that you haven't used before so that you can clearly note which one is which and understand which catalog is which. All right, so I'm not going to do that today because I really don't need to, but I am going to talk about some other points here. Uh, say you have photos that are missing, and actually I disconnected my network on purpose. This is actually, these photos live on the network. And so you can actually right click and you can do find missing folder and you can browse around and find those actual photos, the folder of photos and uh, come back to them. And what was my next point? I'm trying to remember. I told you I wasn't going to be able to do this smoothly. <laughs> All right. So um, if you're, the, oh, that's what it was, importing catalogs. Uh, so 
imagine this is the brand new catalog with a different name in the new location okay now when you go to Lightroom you go to file and you go to open recent you're gonna see your list of all the catalogs that you have right here in this list alright you're gonna see the new name the new funny name that's different than all the others then you'll see all the other ones that you've opened in the past so what, what you're actually going to do is make note of all of these okay but you're not gonna open them what you're actually gonna do is gonna to go to file and you're going to go to import from another catalog by the way this works with Adobe Lightroom 3 and Adobe Lightroom 4 uh, you're gonna do import from another catalog you're gonna choose that other catalog I'm just gonna use this demo as an example you're gonna click open and then it's going Lightroom is gonna scan this folder it's going to see uh, hey all these photos are not in this current catalog and then I want you to do add new photos to catalog without moving okay it's gonna copy over all the develop settings all the metadata all the virtual copies all the everything basically it's going to merge these two catalogs one to another alright you can also use this same function uh, by having a master and a slave catalog uh, what I actually do and I do this all the time is when I'm on a photo shoot or if I'm out uh, with a client I have my master catalogs on my uh, desktop computer at home then when I am uh, out on location I have a much smaller catalog that I will then bring back into the studio into the office and import that catalog of pictures using the same method so I can export a catalog of pictures say I'm going to see a client I export 100 pictures into a single catalog using this file export as catalog again Lightroom 3 and Lightroom 4 have this use this export as catalog so what will happen is it will export all the pictures that I have selected uh, include the, the select, it will select the photos only negative files include available previews you want to uh, select all of those uh, create that new catalog then you're going to be able to re-import that catalog after you, you, know, you go out and you work on it you work with a client you come back you re-import it into your master and voila you're you're all up to date and everything's good so um, that's how you work with multiple catalogs as a master and as a slave and believe me it works out really well I do it all the time um, next thing you have you've imported all your pictures into that single catalog but now you have, still have photos everywhere okay well say these pictures are offline they're on another hard drive they're whatever okay you don't even need to have this dr uh, drive connected it won't even matter so what I'm actually going to do and this is a little known thing that a lot of people don't understand I've never met anybody that knew that it was that this function was there you can actually right click on one of these folders and hit show parent folder what show parent folder is going to do is give me the parent folder of that in this case it's my W drive it's actually a map network drive in my instance but it doesn't matter alright so it's going to it's going to show you that that parent folder great okay the key to it is though that now instead of going folder by folder to refine those okay all I have to do is right click on this and find missing folder and it will automatically find every single subfolder automatically okay that is huge so let me repeat that alright when this folder isn't shown you would have to do right click and find missing folder for every single one of these in this list and there's probably 200 in that list alright instead what I'm able to do after I do uh, add parent is I can do find missing folder for just that parent folder and it'll automatically search and find all the subfolders for me that's it will save you a ton of time alright then once your everything is reconnected everything is working again uh, that's when you want to go ahead and start moving them into one folder into one drive so you want to go ahead and connect that drive to your computer if you're working with a laptop or even if you have a desktop and make sure that that's where everything is going to to go the new place that you know where everything is going to go so you'll bring up your Explorer uh, or finder on the Mac find out where everything is the new place where everything's going to live I'm just going to use this scratch folder and I'm just going to call it uh, my new picture folder okay let's call it my new photograph folder how's that my new photograph folder okay now 
my new photograph folder. So this is where everything is going to live from now on. All right, so let's close that. Now, go in the file and import photos is not going to allow you to add this that empty folder because that's what we want to do is we want to add an empty folder at this point. So we will go to library and new folder. Okay, we're going to library and new folder. So let's go to computer and then scratch and then my new photograph folder and select folder. See how it just added that drive for me and my new photograph folder? Bam, there it is. That's what we want. Now we can take in Lightroom and we can one folder, one photo on the desktop. Don't know what that is. Uh, anyway, what we can then do is grab a folder of images, okay? And obviously I'm not going to do it, but we can just click and drag and drop that into that new folder and Lightroom will automatically move it for us over from the from the old spot to the new spot and look for it there permanently alright if as long as the photos are online in other words the drive is connected to the computer you'll be able it'll automatically move them uh, as well as look for them in the new place all the time so you'll have you have all these different drives pull them together using this method. If you don't need to create the new folder, great, um, but do, do yourself a favor and add that parent folder first, then start dragging and dropping those folders of images over and uh, eventually uh, you'll, you'll see this parent folder and it'll say zero, okay, like this folder right here, Studio Capture, says zero, there's no photos inside of it. Eventually that parent is going to say zero that means it's completely empty there's no more photos in that particular drive in that folder location and then you can right click on it and there should be a way to remove it but oh yeah there's remove okay so you'll be able to remove that folder of images and it'll eventually remove that whole drive whoops sorry about that it'll eventually remove that entire drive so that then all the photos would be on this scratch disk for example so um, Hopefully this has helped you with your Lightroom catalog management. Like I said, you can head over to the website. There are a lot of great Lightroom videos over there. If you have additional Lightroom questions, feel free to request them in a video as a question. You can actually head to the website, and if you want to submit a video question, where is that link? Uh, there it is. Uh, photography video Q&A. You can actually go to Kazillo.com. Oops, I disconnected my internet. I forgot about that. Uh, go to Kazillo.com slash Q. You can actually submit your own video question, and then I will re uh, reply to you with another video. So uh, questions, comments, concerns, as always, I'd love to hear the, any of those. Uh, keep shooting. Thanks, guys. Greg Kazillo. Kazillo.com. See ya.